Okay, I am here to do the 20 week pregnancy update video and everything has been going fairly well considering it's a high risk pregnancy. So I've been visiting with both midwives and um, obstetricians, like the high risk team at the hospital, and they're pretty happy with how everything is going. We found out um, that little baby will be a boy, which is, uh, which is very exciting. Elijah, he knew it was a boy all along. Um, at the very first scan, he, he said, I wish you were having a girl, but I know you're having a boy. And so it feels like he knew since the very beginning and um, he's grown more and more and more excited to have a little brother. So that's really nice. We're really happy about that. And it's handy because um, I have a ton of things left over from when I was pregnant with Elisha, like clothes and little knickknacks. So that's really good. We went um, shopping today to pick up a few new things that maybe needed. There was just a few outfits, um, you know, that, that we didn't have. So that's very exciting and I had a couple of concerning blood tests, I, oh my low battery thing popped up, um, I had inflammation come up in my blood tests and um, we weren't sure what it was, my doctor kind of said it's nothing major, like it's not major inflammation but it's too high to ignore. So I had to have some more tests and it had increased and I had more tests and it had increased and so we were getting pretty concerned. We didn't know what was causing it uh, because I didn't have any obvious symptoms like you might if you were dealing with a cold or you know something that causes inflammation and my other level like to do with my white blood cells were showing that I didn't have an infection of some sort. Um, that they weren't fighting anything. So it was very confusing and kind of concerning. Um, uh, part of me wondered if it was something that I was eating that I had reintroduced to my diet. So I cut that out and the very next blood test I had, I had absolutely no inflammation at all. So it's hard to know, you know, what, um, what it was, if it was the, the food that I was having or if it was something else that just kind of randomly <laughs> fixed itself. Um, so I have had an ultrasound, obviously the 20 week morphology scan where we found out that baby was a boy and they had a look at everything else and everything else looks really good except his belly. So I think at the time I was um, like 19 weeks and however many days and baby's belly was measuring at 20 weeks and six days so he had a really big belly um, it was still within the normal range but at the higher end of the normal range um, so I saw my high-risk doctor and he said um, that he wasn't too concerned it could have been that baby had just taken in a big gulp of fluid or something and you know was full um, or you know it could have been we weren't sure what it was um, but anyway I have to have another scan in a couple of weeks just to make sure that it's kind of back up you know in line with the rest of his development because everything else was pretty much on spot with where it should be my I've had several scans and they were all indicating that I was the 24th of December that I was due then Christmas Eve um, but I had one scan and it said that I would be due on the 27th of December and I kind of figured well um, you know I'll go with the 24th all of them are measuring it sort of that um, but the, the doctor who I saw the other day following the morphology scan said that um, that we were going to go with the 27th because that was the scan that was closest to eight weeks and apparently if you have a scan at eight weeks that's the most um i can't think of the word but that's like the most accurate dating scan so i have kind of thought that i was 24 you know due on christmas eve this whole time but now it's the 27th but it's really only a few days and <laughs> i think they kind of tell you a due date just to guarantee that you're not going to have the baby on that day um so yeah, everything I'm really thankful is looking really good and I had a gestational diabetes test at 14 weeks because I had gestational diabetes with Elijah, my first son, and it came back perfect that, you know, all of my sugars were good. 
Um, but on the same day that I'm having my next scan to check his belly, they're going to retest, which is just the normal time that they would test. Um, but yeah, I think the first time that I had it, it was all pretty easy to manage. I just managed it with diet, like I didn't have to, you know, have any sort of insulin or anything, which was very good. Um, so in terms of symptoms, I've actually been feeling really good. Uh, apart from when I was having that inflammation in my blood test, the reason I went to the doctors in the first place was because I was extremely exhausted, like not normal pregnancy tired, but really extreme exhaustion. And um, that's when they did blood tests and realized the inflammation. But since then, that's really kind of tapered back to just normal pregnancy tiredness. And I am still tired, but I think that's very normal. Um, you know, growing a human is, is a big deal, and I think when you've got a very active and, and happy four and a half year old, um, life is very full and busy. Um, so there's not always a lot of time for rest, but, uh, but we're getting through, and he's being such a good boy playing with Legos while I'm filming this. Um, yes, but symptoms, everything is really good. I've gotten a few headaches here and there. Um, my back, my lower back, I have like previous lower back issues and they have been flaring up a little bit but that happened in my first pregnancy as well. Um, I have had really dry skin, I don't know if you can tell but I've got chapped lips and dry hands and um, you know, which is kind of annoying <laughs> but also it's winter so that could just be from your know, air conditioning and heating and all of that but everything has been going very well so after my next scan when um, when I uh, you know see get when I get another ultrasound to check baby's belly um, the high-risk doctor said that if that came back and everything was okay with that that I might be transferred back to the midwives and not considered a high-risk pregnancy anymore which is kind of exciting of course if they decide that I am high risk that's fine because it's for a reason and I would want both baby and myself to be safe and happy and you know that's not at all an issue but part of me also would really like quite a different ex birth experience um, this time around so it would be nice to not have the stress of kind of high risk you know that high risk pregnancies come with um, yeah but so either way, I'll be happy, but it would be nice to just sort of go back to the midwives and, and not worry too much about, about anything if, if baby is just growing well and, and I'm going well and um, what else? I feel like there was something else I was going to mention. Oh, I, I did make contact with a birthing center, um, which is even like a, it's kind of between a home birth and a, hospital birth I mean it's it's not really like a home birth but it's just very different to a hospital birth but I think considering that at the moment I'm high risk I don't think they're particularly you know excited by the idea of having me go there I think they, they just kind of deal with low risk pregnancies but hopefully if I get the old clear that I can return to a low risk then I would be able to go there because I think that would be a really great experience and you get to go home really quickly afterwards and um, yeah it's funny thinking about this little baby having such a round belly and being kind of bigger because Elijah was so small when he was born and I just think I won't know what to do with a <laughs> with a chubby little baby I mean it would be very cute but um you know just a very different in terms of cravings I haven't really had any um, apart from quite a lot of fruit but I often eat fruit anyway outside of pregnancy um, but I, I um, yeah I have been craving mangoes and mangoes is something that I really craved and ate a ton of when I was pregnant with Elijah it's just something about them they're just juicy and sweet and delicious and unfortunately being that it's still winter I've still got quite a while <laughs> to wait until they're in season but we have found these dried mango pieces which are delicious and they're kind of holding off my mango cravings for now um, but I'm definitely I have definitely been craving more summer fruits so I'm, I'm excited for the warmer weather and and all of the um, delicious fruits that will come with that um, yeah but everything else is going really good and very smooth sailing um, I feel 
quite a lot bigger I think my body just kind of knows what to do you know it's like I've done this before I know <laughs> just let me do its thing and I, I, I definitely feel quite a lot bigger and um, I my clothes are fitting differently I've only really got a few outfits that feel comfortable but I've only put on 500 grams so it's it's interesting how you know you're not necessarily putting on weight but kind of growing <laughs> in size and I think when I was feeling quite exhausted um, and you know quite nauseous in the beginning and things that I lost I lost some weight which is what happened with Elijah as well so maybe I've put on more than 500 grams but because I lost it you know then I put on anyway I don't know if that makes sense <laughs> but um, yes that is all I'm noticing actually I'm also noticing I'm getting out of breath a bit more when I'm just talking or you know going upstairs doing things around the house that wouldn't normally get me out of breath I'm definitely feeling a bit more out of breath um, but that's that's all okay that's good <laughs> all signs that oh and actually no something else that I did want to update because I want to remember um, in the future you know if I look back on this I have been feeling baby move so much and both David and Elijah have been feeling him move particularly if I lay on my back if I move from you know my side onto my back he pushes right up to sort of the top of my uterus and you can just feel it so tight and you can feel the this sort of the length of his body and if you kind of move your hand like this you know over the bump you can feel you know how wide he is and it's very sweet and both boys have felt it and um, it's very special and both David and Elijah are very excited for him to come along and we can't wait to meet him and um, it's very exciting but yes he is he's moving around a lot a lot a lot and I think he's just very excited to um, you know get playing with his big brother but I think that's really all that I had to update and thank you for watching bye Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you subscribe. <laughs> Where did you hear that? Because I, because I remember what I want. They say. Oh, do they say that on the YouTube videos you watch? Uh huh. Oh. Uh. Oh, look, I have fangs. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm a fang. Not a vampire. Let's go. I will not show you my things. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. I hope you subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs>